The Australian Army is advancing its military capabilities by integrating autonomous technologies into its existing fleet of m 113 as 4 armored personnel carriers. This initiative aims to enhance operational flexibility, reduce human exposure to combat risks, and align with modern warfare doctrines that emphasize technological superiority. The conversion of these vehicles into optionally crewed combat vehicles, OCCVs, represents a major step forward in leveraging autonomous and remotely operated systems to improve battlefield effectiveness. The transformation of the M113 AS4 began in 2019 when BAE Systems Australia partnered with the Australian Army to convert two M113 AS4 APCs into OCCVs. These initial conversions served as a proof of concept, demonstrating the feasibility of integrating autonomous systems into legacy platforms. Encouraged by the success of this pilot project, the Australian government awarded a $7.7 .7 million contract in August 2020 to BAE Systems Australia for the conversion of an additional 16 m 113 as vehicles, expanding the OCCV fleet to 20 units. The conversions are being conducted in South Australia by BA Systems and in regional Victoria by Defence's Joint Logistic Unit. This expanded fleet is intended to support two years of experimentation and operational trials, providing valuable insights into the deployment of autonomous ground vehicles in various scenarios, including combat operations and humanitarian assistance. As these trials progress, the Australian Army is positioning the OCCVs for use in multiple operational environments. While combat applications remain a primary focus, there is increasing interest in leveraging these unmanned systems for disaster response, surveillance, and logistics. The Australian Defence Force has emphasized that autonomous systems will play a critical role in future operations, uh, reducing the need for human exposure in high-risk environments and allowing troops to engage in more strategic decision-making rather than direct combat roles. At the core of the transformation is the integration of a vehicle management system developed by BAE Systems, utilizing domain-agnostic autonomy technologies. This system enables the M113 AS4 to operate in multiple modes, manual control, teleoperation, autonomous waypoint navigation, and follow the leader functionality. These capabilities allow for flexible mission profiles, ranging from traditional crewed operations to fully autonomous missions. The incorporation of electro-optic systems, remote weapons systems, specifically the R-400 model, enhances the vehicle's combat effectiveness. The R-400 RWS supports various armaments, including machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, and a 30mm cannon, providing significant firepower while allowing operators to engage targets remotely, thereby reducing exposure to direct combat threats. A significant milestone was achieved when an R-400 mounted M113 AS-4 successfully engaged targets at distances of 300 and 600 meters under remote operation, highlighting the effectiveness of this system in combat scenarios. Beyond firepower, the M113 AS AS-4's autonomous capabilities are being tested for reconnaissance missions, battlefield logistics, and electronic warfare applications. The integration of advanced sensors and AI-driven decision-making further enhances the situational awareness of the OCCVs, allowing them to navigate complex terrain and identify potential threats autonomously. These advancements are crucial for modernizing Australia's ground forces and ensuring they remain competitive in an increasingly technologically driven battle space. The adoption of OCCVs aligns with Australia's modern warfare doctrine, which emphasizes technological innovation to, to maintain a strategic edge. The integration of unmanned systems into the Army's operational framework reflects a shift towards network-centric warfare, where information superiority and autonomous platforms play pivotal roles. These autonomous vehicles are expected to perform a variety of missions, including reconnaissance, logistics support, and direct combat roles, thereby enhancing force multiplication and operational efficiency. Moreover, the flexibility of operating in both crewed and uncrewed modes allows for adaptive responses to dynamic battlefield conditions, optimizing resource allocation and mission effectiveness. 
the ability of these OCCVs to operate in contested environments without endangering personnel makes them particularly valuable for urban combat and counterinsurgency operations, uh, where threats are unpredictable and rapid response is critical. In the context of regional military capabilities, several countries are exploring the integration of autonomous systems into their armed forces. For instance, Singapore has developed the Belrex Protected Combat Support Vehicle, which includes autonomous features for logistics and patrol missions. Similarly, South Korea's Hanwha Defense has introduced the intelligent UGV designed for reconnaissance and combat support. China has also been investing heavily in unmanned ground vehicles, with platforms like the Norinco Sharp Claw series offering autonomous and remotely operated combat capabilities. Compared to these regional counterparts, Australia's approach of retrofitting existing platforms, like the M1130 AS4, offers a cost-effective and expedient solution. By leveraging existing assets, the Australian Army can rapidly enhance its autonomous capabilities without the need for extensive new procurement programs. This strategy not only extends the service life of current vehicles, but also provides a practical pathway for integrating cutting-edge technology into established military structures. However, Australia's OCCVs may face challenges in scalability and adaptability compared to some of the custom-built autonomous systems being developed by other nations. Countries like the United States and China are investing in purpose-built autonomous combat vehicles with more advanced AI integration, machine learning-based decision-making, and swarm capabilities. While the M1130 AS4 OCCV is a significant step forward, future iterations may need to incorporate next-generation AI algorithms and enhanced modularity to remain competitive on the global stage. As the Australian Defence Force continues to modernise, uh, the M1113 AS4 OCCV program is expected to pave the way for broader adoption of unmanned ground systems. Future developments may include the integration of swarming technology, where uh, multiple autonomous vehicles operate in coordination to achieve mission objectives. Additionally, improvements in machine learning and AI decision-making could enable OCCVs to operate with greater independence reducing reliance on remote operators and increasing mission effectiveness. Looking ahead, the Australian Army's Project Land 400 Phase 3 aims to replace the M113 AS4 with a new infantry fighting vehicle, potentially opening the door for more advanced robotic and autonomous systems. The experience gained from the OCCV program will likely inform future procurement decisions, ensuring that Australia remains at the forefront of military innovation. The Australian Army's initiative to convert M113 AS4 APCs into optionally crewed combat vehicles signifies a strategic commitment to modernizing its forces through autonomous technology. This program enhances operational flexibility, aligns with contemporary warfare doctrines, and positions Australia competitively within the region's evolving defence landscape. While challenges remain in keeping pace with more advanced, purpose-built autonomous combat vehicles, the OCCV project represents a pragmatic and cost-effective step toward a more automated and technologically sophisticated military. As artificial intelligence, machine learning, and robotics continue to evolve, Australia's investment in unmanned systems will likely expand, shaping the future of its military strategy for decades to come.